Would you like to know what are the most common dental habits that we see in the dental chair? Stay tuned and find out. Hey guys, my name is Chris Michelle. I'm a registered dental hygienist and I'm going to talk to you about the five most common dental habits that we see in our patient chair. Number one, chewing ice. Why do people chew ice? Well, it's either due to boredom, stress, maybe it's really for a dry mouth or to decrease an appetite. And some people do it due to a habit that they may be facing called pica. So what is pica? Pika is a medical term meaning that someone is craving or chewing on something with little to no nutritional value at all. And if you are a compulsive ice chewer, that term is called pagophagia. Now you may be thinking, I don't chew on ice that much. It doesn't matter how long you've been chewing ice. It actually matters how hard the ice is and how much force is being produced when chewing ice. Chewing on ice can lead to chipping teeth, especially if you have existing dental work. It can also cause jaw muscle soreness and sensitivity to extreme temperatures like hot or cold. Number two, clenching and grinding is another bad habit that we see with our patients and even ourselves as dental professionals. There are many reasons why people clench or grind, but the most common reason is due to anxiety or stress. Now, if you're unsure if you're experiencing this habit, have your dentist or dental hygienist check for wear on the occlusals or chewing surfaces of your teeth. And if you don't have a custom appliance like my night guard right here, you can always go to your local grocery store looking for an over-the-counter night guard that you can wear overnight and then wake up and see if there's any teeth marks on the actual guard. And once you know that you're experiencing grinding or what we call bruxism, you can have your dentist or even medical physician to help you pinpoint why it's happening. Number three, chewing hair. I personally have seen this in a young patient because they use it as a form of coping to help them calm themselves. Remember the word pica? This is another example. Remember this patient because I was looking at their gums and I realized there was a specific area that was severely inflamed. So of course, went in there with my scaler, pulled out a hair, then pulled out another one and another one until I realized there was a bunch of hair packed into their gum. Now, if this is something that you're experiencing or know someone who's experiencing something like that, I remember telling the patient's parent that they could do warm salt water rinses to help with the healing. But considering how young that patient was, I knew that it would just heal pretty quickly for them. But that is also a tip if you're experiencing a lot of redness in your gums, maybe try some warm salt water rinses to kind of help reduce some of that inflammation. Number four, biting cheek. It doesn't feel good when you bite your cheek. We've all bit our cheek at some point. There are so many factors as to why people, you know, bite their cheek. Accidental is when you're eating too fast or you're talking while eating or you're distracted. Boredom and anxiety, clenching and grinding. Even dental restorations that have been poorly constructed can cause biting your cheek. And malocclusion, which means your teeth are not aligned, your occlusion might be off. For example, maybe your mouth is resting um, and it's just, you know, your occlusion just not, might not be in the right alignment. So that could also lead to causing you to bite on your cheeks when you don't even realize it. And number five, the last, but probably the most common dental habit that we see in the chair is brushing too hard. Most people believe that brushing really hard will get their teeth squeaky clean, and that is certainly not the case. Brushing hard can lead to gum recession and extreme enamel wear. I can promise you, we're not lying when we say you can achieve a clean smile with a soft bristle toothbrush with the proper brushing technique. If you are experiencing dental habits, please ask your favorite dental professional for any advice or tips at your next dental appointment. And if you like more content like this, make sure to like and comment your suggested topic. Also, make sure to subscribe for upcoming videos every week. See y'all next time.